Okay, now that the lower box unit is mounted on the frame, a lot of things start happening concurrently. First, the door opening is cut out and a wooden template is put into place prior to installing all the aluminum bracing that helps form that strong but light structure. At the same time, another person is installing the wheel opening trim and corner moldings. Once that's done, it's on to the next stage. In the next department, they start getting all those supports and mounts in place for those fine cabinets. Which, by the way, like most other components on an A-liner, are built right here in-house by a crew of talented craftsmen. And it's not only those large items that are built in-house. All those aluminum braces and small brackets are fabricated right here in the metal shop. Now that the brackets and supports are in place, it's time to install all the cabinetry. And as you can see, for a trailer this size, there are plenty of cabinets for storage. Once the cabinets are in place, the next step is installing the ductwork and wiring up the refrigerator, stove, air conditioner, and lighting fixtures. And, by the way, at the same time, all the plumbing's being done. With all the wiring and plumbing completed on the inside, it's time to get the trailer up on a lift and hook up all the wiring and hoses on the underside. Once everything is secured on the underside, the next operation is what really makes an A-liner unique, and that's installing the A-frame roof panels. Which, by the way, are also manufactured and assembled in-house. The first roof panel is put into place and secured with rivets, followed by the second panel. Once these are in place, the side A panels are put on and we almost have a completed A-liner. Those spring-loaded roof panels are the key to why A-liner owners can be set up and enjoying themselves in about 30 seconds, as Melanie Spire shows us. Now that's quick, but Ned was telling me a story about a problem with setting up so quickly. One of my uh, owner at, an, at one of the A-liner rallies told me once, it's 30 seconds to set up, but then it's 30 minutes to tell everybody in the campground what you just did. Uh, as soon as an A-liner pulls in anywhere, uh, every other RVer wants to come over and see this unique little camper and get a feel for what it is. And uh, we actually sell a lot of A-liners uh, from that experience. People will see an A-liner for the first time at a campground, go home and realize, I'm tired of this big uh, RV that I'm towing around and paying for and is no fun, and they'll trade that in and buy an A-liner. In the next stage, all the cushions and curtains are put in, and the whole unit gets a final inspection and cleaning prior to being loaded onto a truck for delivery to one of A-liner's 100 plus dealers. If you noticed, during the show, among some of the white A-Liners, you saw this really cool-looking silver gray one. That's the Platinum Edition that's available in all top three models. It comes with black trim and some sharp chrome and black wheels. There are other features available on this model, and you'll find them all listed on the company website. If you're interested in an A-Liner, Ned gives us three good reasons to own one. Uh, the first is it's easy to... Uh, own, it's easy to tow, and it's easy to camp with. Uh, and I'll sort of give you some examples in each. Uh, we'll start with it's easy to camp. Um, all of our A-liners set up within 30 seconds, uh, which gets you there on the campground and doing an activity you love with very little hassle. The units are small and compact. You can unhook it and push it into the campsite. 
uh, and then also because of all of the amenities that they do come with in a small package, once you're at the campsite, you can enjoy uh, nature or whatever activity you want without having to worry about putting ice in the cooler because you have a built-in refrigerator. Uh, they're easy to own because all of our units are very well made with very durable products, everything from a powder coated frame uh, to the high gloss exterior, uh, fiberglass to very low wood quantity or quantity. Um, so once you own it, you don't have to do a lot of maintenance. It's also easy to own because this is something you can put in your garage. Uh, you're not buying a, an RV that you now have to store somewhere else and pay to store somewhere else. Uh, and then finally, it's very easy to tow and it's easy to tow for a couple of reasons. The first is a small unit that is folded is below the slipstream of your car. So the car that you're already using Monday through Friday to commute to work in, your crossover SUV or your minivan, on the weekend hook it up, tow your unit out of the garage and get going. Um, as a sort of rule of thumb or an example, I like to tell people that a small six-cylinder Ford crossover uh, vehicle towing our camper will drop from 24 miles to gallon to about 20 miles a gallon. Uh, a comparable size camper that is not a folding camper, that same vehicle will drop from 24 to 12 miles to the gallon because you're pulling so much more through the air that's above uh, the height of your car. Uh, also extremely easy to tow because we put a very nice, uh, easy tracking, independent suspension axle on all of our units. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's show. For additional information on A-Liner or anything else you've seen on this episode, log on to our website at rollingontv.com.